I'm here in the province of Cambodia, Bong Tom One village, and I've met up with Tida. She's also got a YouTube channel, Tida Cooking, and she's gonna take me around the province, around the village, and we're gonna try some local Cambodian food. So let's do it. We've got we've got an entourage with us today as well. My guy Linny, my tuk tuk driver. So yeah, let's go and explore this little province. It's very similar like the Philippines. Look. Well, over there is just like a palm tree because like a Khmer people they like to like make uh, the, the, the sukkah yeah. the, the sukkah palm tree or it's just like uh, that one is just uh, for like uh, the knao chu it's called the knao chu for like uh, the old people like to drink like the knao chu like a sour palm tree something like that maybe you never touched that mm -hmm. one but it's nice one like uh, old generation I mean like the old generation is just uh, uh, before there has no beer, only like uh, wine. No, I have wine, the white wine. They just make from the, the rice. And then just that one is just the, the best one for the, 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 the palm tree like that. Mm. Yeah, nice. Yeah, a lot of palm tree. I like it, the countryside yeah. here. It's so beautiful. It's the best one, man. I love it. Man. Better than so, the I'm city. I mean, the countryside. I mean, like, I'm a countryside boy. This is like a throwback to when I used to live in the province in the Philippines. It's like very similar vibes. My tuk tuk driver, we come down here, we were doing a bit of like off roading. Like typical, typical like province area. All the people's houses over there. So now we're gonna go to Tida's sister's restaurant. So we've arrived at the restaurant, it's just on the side of the road guys. Outside the petrol station. <laughs> we got the friendly local petrol attendants. So this is the restaurant. I think this is the name of it. I'm not sure. We'll see. Let's go. <laughs> this is your mom? <laughs> Hello, Mom. Hello, Mom. <laughs> As always, I will do a little kitchen invasion, show you the kitchen. Hello, my sister. Your sister. Hello, Hello. nice to meet you. Hello. So, check it out. This is where they're doing all the cooking. You have two sisters, one, two. Good, how are you? <laughs> so, check it out, guys. They've got the big woks over there cooking some stuff up. Got some soup there. Nice, nice little kitchen. It's pretty hot in the kitchen, though. You cooking too, Tida? <laughs> no? No. <laughs> okay, fa fair enough. <laughs> so now we're just heading to the next location. We just had a quick coffee stop. I tried some local Cambodian coffee. And now we're off to a restaurant, I believe, a floating restaurant. Local Cambodian market, guys. You can see it. Hello, everyone here is so friendly in Cambodia. Look, it's just along the road. We got some train tracks there, so Tida's gonna take me to eat something. Okay, everything is up to you. And how much is this one? Thank you. Welcome. Taste. What's it called? What's the name of this one? Nom Soi. Nom Soi. Okay, let's give it a try. Uh, I think I've tried something similar to this before. Mm. Nice, crispy. It's like dessert, very sweet. Very sweet. What's this inside? Coconut. Oh, coconut. Yeah, coconut. Mm, so it's coconut inside. Nice. Train is coming. Good timing. Good timing for the video. It's funny, isn't it? The fascination with like YouTube videos. When a train comes, you have to video it. But in Cambodia, a train is coming through. A lot of black smoke is coming from it too. Little market, 
like it along the side of the road here. Look, they've got the chicken, the fish, like current area style food. This is the little restaurant. Hello. Look at all the food. Oh, this is like the stewed pork that you eat in Thailand, Khao Khao Moon. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty nice. You can try all the local food here. Oh, I've, I've lost my tour guides. They've gone to the next location and I'm busy walking around talking crap to the camera. Mm, this is good. Nice dessert. I wish I actually uh, kept my coffee to have my coffee with it though. Got the sugar cane juice as always. Hello, how are you? Let's go. <laughs> okay, so Tida has brought me to this restaurant, floating restaurant here in her village in Cambodia. So the staff come actually to the car park to get you. Look at this, it looks pretty nice. This girl come to collect us. She's got the menu. Look at this. This is nice. This reminds me of Lao a little bit. When I was in Lao, you know, you've got the floating rafts. Wow, this looks really nice, guys. You always get this in the more province type places. Local, local. Hello, what's your name? You can speak English? No. <laughs> okay. It's okay, okay. So, we're just waiting for Tida to come down. Of course, we're really in the countryside, guys, now, so the English isn't as spoken here, but that's okay. I'm used to that. Very nice. So, I leave the food in Tida's hands. You know me, guys, I will eat anything. Frog? Yeah, Stir we can try frog. Stir fry frog? Yes. And yeah, chicken. why not? Chicken. Okay. Chicken. Check out the little restaurant. It's like a little hut. They've got the hammocks here too that you can chill on too. They put the mat so we're obviously going to eat on the floor. And some old ladies like this come around to sell stuff. Is that mango? Yeah. Sour yeah. mango. Okay, so this beautiful lady's bought us dinner, lunch. I'm going to have to let you guys explain for me what everything is. Wow. Okay, what is this? Explain. This is the chicken anyway, Roast right? Chicken. Roast chicken. Roast chicken. Snails. Snails stir fry. Okay. And this? Sour soup. Sour soup. Yes. Okay. Sour soup chicken. Rice. Rice. You always have to eat with the rice, guys. That's the number one rule. Okay. Okay, I suppose I will let Tida organize the food because I have no idea what's, what to do, especially with the snail. You have to squeeze yes. it in? Yeah, of course. I have to go okay. spicy. Of course. <laughs> I eat spicy every day. So spicy. Okay, I'm just going to copy you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm normally, guys, I'm normally used to have the girl do everything for me, <laughs> so I have to follow now. <laughs> Okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> I don't know how to say delicious in Khmer. How you say? Tastes so good actually, yeah? 
Mm. So which is your favorite food? Snail. Yes, snail. Okay. Well, I've tried snail before actually in Vietnam, but I actually prefer this snail because it's got a bit of like taste to it because it's stir fried, right? So I presume that's why. But I've never tried this sour soup. Never tried it. Very local dish, right? So yeah, I look forward to trying this. I always like to try the different food. Tea is a very good host. <laughs> it's like you're looking after your son or something, right? <laughs> Let's give it a try. Never tried it before. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I like I like when I try new food. You know, the first taste always hits differently. But yeah, tastes mm. good. It's hard to explain the taste, though. <laughs> So for me, I love to eat soup actually, I would eat the soup more for breakfast, but I really like the snail. For me, I like to drink beer, so drinking beer and eating the snail, <laughs> it's a good combination. <laughs> so, yes, cheers. You can cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Oh, big piece of chicken. <laughs> Just pick it up and break it. It's like, is this a native chicken, yeah? Yeah, native chicken. Mm. Mm. You can always tell when it's a native chicken as well. Mm. I find it always a bit more chewy as well, native chicken, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay guys, so just finished that lovely Cambodian food, local food. It cost 98,000 real for everything that we ate, including the beers, three beers, some water. So yeah, pretty good price. I will put the conversion up on the screen. So now we're going to head back towards Tida's home and check out the local area more. So a nice restaurant to check out here in the province of Cambodia. Let's go to the next location. We've arrived back at Tida's house. Typical house here in Cambodia countryside. They've got the kitchen outside, some coconuts. You know how to do it? <laughs> yeah? Oh. I cannot do this. I do not know how to. I'll probably cut my hand off. Look at that, perfect. Okay, <laughs> okay thank you. Okun. Okun. <laughs> Let's try it. Fresh coconut water. Mmm. Actually, it's very sweet. Yeah. Maybe normally the smaller ones are more sweet. This is what a typical Cambodian house looks like in the countryside. Check it out. Nice views all around. They've got the farm over there. Pretty, um, not too many neighbors as well. So, so peaceful. Just check it out. It's like similar style in Thailand, I suppose, in the countryside. House made out of the wood. So nice. Very relaxing atmosphere like every province i suppose in the world it's just got a nice feeling they've got the kitchen outside hammocks this is the kitchen right you're cooking outside all the time here so yeah they've got the kitchen so two kitchens one outside and one around the back we'll check out the one around the back aha uh -huh. so they've the table and everything to prepare here and some cooking equipment, big wok, very big wok. 
very like traditional you know very native <laughs> of course i know this sauce very popular sauce oyster sauce, oyster sauce. they cook with everything in thailand this sauce Oh, nice. Very nice. I like this too. Look at this. It's like little seating area where you can eat the food too. So nice. Very native. So cool. So I want to say thank you to Tida for uh, joining me today and taking me everywhere to eat local Cambodian food. It was really nice. She invited me to her home. We went to the restaurant. I tried some food I haven't tried before, which was good. So yeah thank you and go thank and support you. Tida's <laughs> channel I will put the links everything below and you can go and check she does like cooking local Khmer food here in the countryside you can really see like how life is in Cambodian countryside so definitely check out her videos and thank you thank Orkan. you yeah. okay guys I'm heading back to Phnom Penh now with Lini my tuk tuk driver for the day it was cool to see a local area or province style area here in Cambodia check it out pretty quiet pretty peaceful not too much going on here really got to try some local food so now if we go back and i'm there look at this guys they make like That's a lot yeah there's a lot in this in this province they seem to be making a lot of local furniture beds out of wood check it out Bad. And um, that one's really like a temple. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that one's a Hello. Hi, Mom. Pretty cool. So many people are just a friendly people. Yeah, very uh, friendly. I love, I love these kind of videos guys, I can go around the province all day, the people so friendly, smiles, make you feel welcome, it just makes you want to spend more time here. That's pretty much it guys from this video, meeting Tida, checking out the province, trying some of the local food. So yeah, pretty cool day, something different, I wouldn't have normally done it. So of course thanks to her for inviting me and see you on the next video, ciao!